Hi, I'm Lucky, and today I was trying to figure out what weapon I should get gold first in Call of Duty Cold War Zombies, because I really wanted to start working for camos in Cold War Zombies. I have played Cold War Zombies quite a bit, but I don't have, like, a bunch of camos or anything. I think when I played it, when the per game first came out, I was just only really going for, like, high rounds and not even really using anything, just, like, wonder weapons and stuff. Anyways, I was going through these, and apparently, I actually did end up getting one gold. And it happens to be the M79, and I thought that was really funny that I actually ended up getting this gold out of anything. I saw to get Plague Diamond. All I had to do was unlock gold camo for one melee weapon and special weapon in zombies. And so to get our first Plague Diamond ever, because we have this unlocked already, all we have to do is get camo for one melee weapon. So I decided I'm just going to go with the default knife, and we're going to go ahead and try and get the camo for that today. So that we can get our very first Plague Diamond camo. I have a few challenges to get done with this. I've already looked at them, but they shouldn't be too hard. So basically what we need is 50 melee kills against disoriented enemies. We need more kills against zombies that are affected by Frost Blast, Ring of Fire, or Aether Shroud. We need more special and elite eliminations. We, we need to get 20 or more consecutive kills with a knife without getting hit 10 times in a row, which we actually only need 9 more of those. So these really shouldn't be that, that hard, but we're going to go ahead and try and get these. Maybe we can get them in one game. That'd be really super sick. I think we can. Let's see how it goes. I think we are going to be doing this on Forsaken because I think it'll just be really easy. Okay, I think what we want to do is get Pack-a-Punch open as fast as possible. And so we can get our ammo mod and Pack-a-Punch, of course. But while we do that, we can probably get our uh, decoy kills and our Aether Shroud kills. I think that stun, I think that stun grenades count. So let's go ahead and try this. I forgot how many we actually need still for this camo. Oh, max ammo. Perfect. I think there's actually a couple camos we need for uh, stunned uh, zombies, but we don't have any more grenades right now, so that's okay. Oh, wait, there's another stun grenade over here. And armor, which probably picked that up really fast. Okay, let's see how many stun kills we can get, actually. Stun doesn't really last that long. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh my gosh. We're probably getting pretty close to getting those. There's one of them. So we need 30 more then. Also, we only need three Aether Shroud kills. We can get that right now. There we go. Maniac. Perfect. That's really good that we got that. So that's one of our things down. Okay, let's go get that turned on. We want Pack-a-Punch. Not that we have enough for Pack-a-Punch, but... We can get the ammo mod before anything else. That'll be good. I should also make sure to keep an eye out for, uh, oh, I have to hold the repair. Are you joking? Anyways, we should keep an eye out for, uh, decoys and stuff. I think I've actually ever played solo on this map. That's actually kind of fun to me. I know it's kind of weird, but again, I'm just coming back to this game and there's a lot of new stuff. Hopefully we can kill this while we're in Aether Shroud, or like pretty close. There's a couple more knives, I can't see anything. So we're gonna have to back up for a second. There we go, Blue Tiger. Wait, that, wait, that counted as three eliminations. Oh no it didn't, that didn't. Okay, that was a uh, Blue Tiger. We need um, Rising Tiger still, so we have to kill a few more of the bosses. Or elites. Elites and, uh, what are they called? I actually can't remember what they're called. But let's go get our weapon mod, and then we're going to go back to the staging area. Shatter Blast, that's the one we want right here. I do think that the, uh, uh, what's it called? The electric one might be better for getting 20 kills without getting hit over and over, just because it stuns them a little bit. Uh, but I think this will work fine. We'll pack a punch when we can, but for now we're going to head over to the staging area just because I think it's a good place to run around at. Or actually, let's hang out. Let's hang out here. Oh no, let's go hang out by, uh, on the other side. In front of the theater. I think that's where I want to be. It's pretty open there. Okay, let's try and round up 20 zombies. I don't, I'm not going to really count them, but we can guess. Once we have, once they like stop spawning, we'll just assume that there's enough. 
Then we'll get them all really close together and just try and shatter blast all of them at once so that we can start getting those done. Because if they're shatter blasted, then they're not going to be hitting us. Okay, I think this is at least 20. Was it 20? If not, like, th this should be 20. That should be 20. I'm sure of it. Ah, uh, there we go. With those two. Okay, so it did work. Because we only had one before. So it's 18 more to go, which is a lot, but that's okay. Okay, let's try and do this again. Keeping an eye out for decoy grenades. I don't know where there's a work table over here to be honest so i can't just craft them even though i feel like i should uh it's gonna be really easy if i can decoy all of them i can just shatter blast all of them we can probably finish that up in like one decoy grenade we'll do that in a second uh shatter blast please what happened to shatter blast i don't think we even have enough zombies here The Shatter Blast is just making them into crawlers. Ah. Uh, okay, let's go pack a punch really fast. I thought there was a craft. Oh, it's right here. So we couldn't buy a decoy, but we got a stun. And honestly, I think it'll be good enough. I think they work. That doesn't lead them all to one place, so it's not quite as good. But it'll be pretty good with Shatter Blast still. Let's head over to in front of the cinema. And try this again. We are going to stun them this time. So we can get the uh, disoriented zombies thing out of the way. I'm pretty sure now that this is pack-a-punched, uh, and I upgraded the, what's it called, like the tier of the weapon, I'm pretty sure it'll one-shot them now, so I don't have any worries about that. Let's try and stun them. Will that be good enough for the, I think, I don't think that got enough kills, like, disoriented kills well wait a second i don't we can't craft another we can get another stun but decoys are so much better i guess we go craft another stun i don't know where all the benches are and stuff so i have to keep going all the way back to the other side of the map because <laughs> i don't know where they are i mean i'm sure i'll learn eventually but oh wait there's one right there that's really nice we'll use this one let me make a stun we have to be getting close because it was only 50 We'll jump off here. Let's get them all together again. Come on, zombie boys. I think this is all the zombies that are here, actually. Let's try and get them all grouped up. Also, it's interesting to me. This keeps happening. I think the second knife attack triggers the uh, ammo mod, not the first one, which is really weird to me. Yeah, see? Wait, why isn't it? Not... It, like, doesn't trigger sometimes. Was that enough for the camo? No, maybe it took too long and they became unstunned. I'm not really sure, but we can't really afford another one right now. If we find another decoy on the ground or decoy or stun, we'll keep trying. For now, I guess we will just try and round up 20 zombies here so we can get 20 without getting hit. Why isn't it working? Why isn't it working? Uh, now we gotta be like kind of careful here to try and keep getting the kills without getting hit. Cause the shatter blast did not do enough. Ah, uh, we got hit. This is gonna be a little tougher than I thought. I think it's only around twelve. I can't imagine it should be hard. This is at least twenty zombies for sure. We can try again. I think this is twenty. I died? Wait, what happened? 
Oh my. Okay, so it doesn't look like the Shatter Blast kills with this are we're counting, and it looks like to get the stuns we might have to just stun them, or we might have to actually melee them. But we only need twenty five more of these. We need three more elite elim or two more elite eliminations. So this did only count as one. Just the camel was unlocked at eight, and we had seven. And then we need the 20 consecutive kills. Let's get back into this and try and get those. I can't believe that happened. I don't even understand what happened. Okay, I guess what we should do is... Well, I mean, we could get some of... We could maybe get some of these early. I think it's better just to get going as fast as possible here. We'll probably end up skipping a lot of the beginning of this. Kind of like last time. Because it's kind of this time where we can't really do as much. Nice, we got a decoy. We need 25 decoy kills. Let's see how many we can get here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, it's gone. Okay. We need. We got at least 30. I think we got six or seven before it went out. But we can assume that we need 20 just to be safe. I'm not really expecting to be able to get 20 kills without getting hit here, but we'll try. It doesn't hurt to try. Yeah. That's a frag. I guess what we could do is start opening doors. Okay, we did get a couple kills with a stun grenade a bit ago, but we just got another decoy drop, so we're going to go ahead and try and get a few more. I believe the decoy lasts a bit longer than the stun grenade, so it could be really good for us. Let's drop it here. Okay, I'm not sure how many we got, but that is definitely going to help us. We can actually craft another one. And probably finish up our camo here. Oh, we actually need even more. I thought we had more than that, but we just hit 40. And we probably have like 43. Oh, a stun? Okay. Two, three, four, five. Oh, we're probably like one off. That's so unlucky. Dang, I wish I could craft it. But we just have to keep in mind that we need like a few more. Just barely more. Okay, so we got our hands on another decoy. I'm hoping that this will help us get the last few kills for the... Banished camo. So let's get these together and then we will decoy them. Let's get rid of this guy. Also, I took the electric uh, ammo mod on the knife just because it stuns them and it'll be easier to get 20 consecutive kills while they are getting stunned. So let's wait for them to spawn and then we will decoy. Was that enough? It was. Okay, that is one more down. Now we just need consecutive kills and to kill one more elite monster. So that should be pretty good. So I think my strategy for consecutive kills is to get a bunch of them grouped up. And then once I get them stunned from the electricity uh, ammo mod, I always forget what it's actually called. So I'm just going to call it that. I hope that's not too bad. What I'm going to do is and I'm going to Aether Shroud and just try and get a bunch of kills like that while the other ones are getting killed. And then hopefully that'll be enough to get 20 multi kills. Because I have to do that quite a few times. Okay, here we go. Why won't it activate? There we go. We're going to Aether Shroud and just start killing zombies. Was that enough to get one? I'm not really sure. All I can do is hope. I felt like that was more than 20 kills. Now we're going to have to try and do it without Aether Shroud because we don't have it up.
Oh, we got hit. This might take some farming. I'll probably only show like the last one because I don't know if I don't, that's just a, a lot. It's going to be a long video because it's probably going to take a lot of attempts that I'm probably going to get wrong. I'm sorry if that's kind of uncool, but I think it's just the easiest way for me to edit this and show that I'm getting the camos. But I will also show when we kill our last elite to get the camo as well. Wait, here we go. Bop. Rising Tiger camo. Hell yeah. That was really fast, but that guy came out of nowhere. I'm probably going to end up just like cutting into that with like out context. Because I just like tabbed back in. I was like paused for a second and that guy spawned right in front of me. But there's one more camo and now we only need to get the consecutive kills. Uh, let's see if we even got it or how close we got. This is a little frustrating. I keep dying in dumb ways, but uh, well. It is what it is. Since the last thing we have to do is get these consecutive kills things, we're just going to go ahead and play in uh, D Machina and do our best to get those done. All right. So I realized that it wasn't actually 20, 20 rapid kills, just consecutive kills without getting hit. So if we can get the first 20 kills with uh by consecutive i'm hoping it just means like without switching weapons we could probably just get all of our consecutive kills right here at the beginning of the game without too much of a problem really so we'll just try not to get hit since we have five out of six when we get to 20 kills if we don't get hit we'll get one of the camos we almost got hit there Fourteen, fifteen. Dang, we actually had to wait. I wish we had a um. Wish we had like a decoy. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay, there we go. Now we're just getting another twenty kills. Two, four, four. I mean, we'll know because we'll be at forty elims as long as we don't get hit. We might be able to do it without even leaving this room, to be honest. That would actually be really good. 12 more kills. Where are the zombies? No, we got hit. So we should get one at 50. If we don't mess it up. Okay, five more kills. And then we should be at 7 out of 10 multi-kills. The 20 consecutive kills, I mean. Six out of 10. Not, no, 7 out of 10. Did I say 5 out of 10 earlier? I can't even remember. Maybe I didn't. Two more. Yep, 
Now we should get a skin. We should get one of our camos at 70. As long as we make it through here without getting hit. Twelve more. Almost got hit. Eight more. Undead tango down. Ooh, max ammo. Five more. Four. Three. Oh my god, he almost hit me. These last two, and we should get a camo. Oh, wait, we were off by one. Okay, that's fine. Now we should get one at. Uh. 89? Yeah, that sounds right. And then we should be at 8 out of. No, wait, we're 8 out of 10 now. Then we'll be at 9 out of 10 in 40 knife kills. If we don't get hit, 40 knife kills at 110, or 109, technically, we'll be, we'll have, we'll be done with these challenges and we'll have our first. Plague Diamond Weapon. If we can manage that. Oh, we almost got hit. Almost got hit. We're just uh, trying to run around and not run into too many clumps of zombies because that makes it a little bit trickier. Ah, we almost got hit. Almost got hit again. Okay, we should we should be at 9 out of 10 now. As long as we don't get hit in the next, what, like, 10, 19 zombies, we'll be okay. 18, 17. Ah. 16, 15, 14, 13. Okay, we're so close. We're so close. Well, I forgot where we were at. I think we need 12 more kills. Or is it 14? 13. Oh my god, what's happening? 12 more kills. We're going to free one. Give me a free one. Ah! No, we got hit! Okay, 10 more, 20 more. We need uh, 119. I think starting a new game to get these is probably the best idea. It's so easy. Like, the zombies are so slow. 119. We're so close. 12 more. We don't want to get... Uh, zombies sneaking up on us. I do think killing the stray ones is easier. Uh, uh. Trying to like max range of zombies with the knife is kind of hard. Okay, we only need three more. I think we need three more kills. And then we have it. Trying to be really careful here. Do we have it now? We should. Diamond camo. There we go. Our very first camo diamond. Golden viper. Okay, so that means that we have plague diamond. Uh, we're getting so many like metals. Okay, so I think what we need to do is we need to go ahead and die. Because I don't know if we exit out, if it counts or not. So let's go ahead and die, and then we'll go check it out. All right, here we go. Let's look. I'm super excited. Super excited. Let's see this camo. First Plague Diamond camo ever. Okay, we got the gold for it and Plague Diamond. Look how awesome that looks. That looks actually really sick. Let's go see it in game. Wait, that also means that we got it for our um for our special our grenade launcher, the M79. Right? Oh, yeah. This is actually way cooler. Well, it's going to be a while until we get that one, but we'll work on it. We'll try and get one from each category first before we get, like, all of them from each category. Just so we can have some Dark Aether skins, I think that would be really cool. 
Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you have a fantastic day. I had a really good day finally unlocking my first Plague Diamond skins. And uh, yeah, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this or like my multiplayer videos. I'm going to be making them very often. And uh, yeah, goodbye.